ABC 7's Pilar Arias is in Albuquerque with reaction to the debate. H. Decriminalizing marijuana and poverty were just some of the topics that Governor Susana Martinez and her challenger, Gary King, had to answer during the hour-long debate here in KOAT studios. Although the two didn't agree on much, they had detailed responses to the questions that they didn't get to see or hear before the square-off. What I did is I worked with the legislature to make sure... For the third time, Governor Susana Martinez and Democratic candidate Gary King met to debate issues directly relating to New Mexicans. We think that this election should be about the economy. We think it should be about the welfare of our children. We think it should be about um, how our schools are doing, and that, that was the nature of the questions. This is where I think that uh, New Mexico voters get to see the two candidates side by side, decide which one is best for New Mexico's future, um, and which one is a leader and which one is just a politician. The only thing they agreed on is that education reform needs to continue to happen across the land of enchantment. That's how we raise children from poverty, because they are educated, they, they, they graduate from high school, they're less, uh, more likely to go to college or a two-year institution, and if they're not, we're going to make sure that they're career ready. We should uh, give educators back control of the classrooms. Uh, they certainly have the capability of testing their students to find out if they're making progress. And, and, and I think that, that educators, professional educators, have been trained to do what's in the best interest of the children. While as Cruces City Council recently voted on increasing the minimum wage to 1010 by January 2017, Governor Martinez and King don't agree on raising the statewide minimum wage. If we have a minimum wage that's too low, then people are on assistance, and that actually is not good. So I, I think that people will find, uh, if, if that occurs in southern New Mexico, that the economy will do better overall. When you are tied for the number one um, minimum wage in our region, then it becomes extremely difficult to look at a 1010 because then our businesses won't come and the ones that are here already will leave. Early voting has already begun, but neither candidate is backing down just yet. In Albuquerque, Pilar Arias, ABC7.